This is a grievance I've had for quite some time, but I debated making this video. I can't shake the feeling that Apple left Mac Pro 2019 owners holding the bag, and then on top of that, treating them badly. If you're not very interested in a discussion of the Mac Pro 2019 and how Apple has treated it post-release, then I suggest using the chapters and skipping ahead to where I talk about my absurd experience using Apple's repair program and my Mac Pro 2019. Recently, Apple announced some pretty killer features for Final Cut Pro X, Motion, and Compressor, but they are Apple Silicon only. The updates include machine learning based object tracking and faster exports for HEVC and H.264 by simultaneously processing video segments across all available media engines. But these aren't magical features that would be or should be limited to Apple Silicon considering the GPU compute power of the Mac Pro 2019 and the ability to have multiple GPUs. I suspect, and to be clear, I have zero evidence, this is 100% conjecture on my part, that Apple is purposely hanging the Mac Pro 2019 out to dry as it represents an inconvenient truth about Apple Silicon. To this day, Apple has not produced a GPU on the level of AMD's highest tier offerings. The highest end GPU supported in Mac OS is still from the previous generation, the 6900 XT. While Geekbench 6's benchmarks are not the only way to gauge a GPU's performance, the 6900 XT in sheer compute is oodles above any of Apple's integrated GPUs and almost certainly will outperform the M3 Ultra's GPU. I have to mention Apple Silicon's integrated GPUs have incredible TDPs, which are fantastic for laptops, but it's much less of an issue in the desktop form factor. As of recording this video, Apple has still not supported the AMD 7000 series GPUs, aka Navi 31, which is AMD's 5 nanometer chiplet technology. They were released almost exactly one year ago, December 13th in 2022. My personal wild speculation is Apple does not want to support these GPUs as it'd be an embarrassment for Apple Silicon GPUs as the Chungus 7900 XTX is roughly 45-50% to 50 faster than the 6900 XT. It also supports AV1 hardware encoding, beating out Apple's hardware encoding by almost a year. Apple wants to vector away from Intel Macs, which is certainly not news but they're leaving their most dedicated Mac users or professionals in the lurch, as not everyone can simply afford to drop $7,000 on a Mac Pro 2023, nor is said workstation appropriate for certain types of workflows, as it's severely RAM-capped and it packs a GPU that's lackluster for the price and can't be upgraded. Apple's lack of extended support makes my Mac Pro 2019 one of the more disappointing computers I've owned. Probably the most damning thing is the way Apple treats its professional customers, or at least the ones that bought the Mac Pro 2019. Not long ago, my Mac Pro 2019 reported a fan issue in diagnostic mode. I am lucky enough to live in a metro that has three Apple stores. None of them are super close to me, but I have a car and a flexible schedule. I scheduled an appointment at the Apple store and it took them three days to test it and tell me exactly the same thing as diagnostic mode. I was quoted a price for $319 for a fan assembly. While that might be expensive, it's certainly not the sort of damage that's unmanageable, especially since my computer is no longer covered by Apple Care, which is Apple's warranty service. Now this is where I need to divert for a second for context. The Mac Pro 2019 is a modular computer, meaning all its parts are easily removed and swappable. It's immaculately designed. This is a computer designed for power users such as myself or someone who's more than capable of troubleshooting his or her own computer. Naturally, I inquired about purchasing said fan assembly so I didn't have to drive 40 minutes and wait a few days for Apple to service my Mac Pro since that seemed reasonable. Mm -hmm. Apple would not sell me the part and let me install it myself. Resigned to my fate, I asked if I could bring my Mac Pro 2019 to the Apple Store and if I could keep my old fan assembly. I figured since it was working, although still reporting errors, that maybe if the next one failed, I'd still have a backup and perhaps I could fix it or maybe find someone with the technical skill who could help me fix it. Apple was very clear that they would not let me keep the old fan assembly. This irked me to my core as I did not expect this. Apple would not budge. 
I asked if they would service my Mac Pro 2019 if it didn't have a fan assembly and I brought it in. The answer was no. This is where I started to lose my cool a little bit because I asked what if my Mac Pro 2019's fan was severely damaged, lost, or stolen? How would I even get a fan assembly? Apple's answer was basically, well, I guess you're kind of fucked, aren't you? Of course, they did not use those words. At this point, I was getting kind of angry, although I didn't want to take it out on an Apple Store employee as they're not the problem. In fact, I'd say all the staff at the Bridgeport Apple Store was nothing but kind and helpful, but Apple itself was not. Apple may have backed a right to repair bill, but Apple itself is rotten to its core when it comes to repairs. I tried calling multiple Apple service centers, and of course, they either wouldn't play ball or the ones that would could not get the fan assembly. I'd like to thank a certain college town Mac repair shop, but I don't want to get them in trouble with Apple. That particular store went above and beyond to try and get me one. I'll do a supplemental release on my Patreon with the support calls. It's not super exciting stuff, but I have the receipts on this. This whole experience has been a shame because I've been one of Apple's biggest Mac Pro supporters and advocates. I've written three long-form guides on my personal blog, free of charge, without advertisements, called the Definitive Mac Pro Upgrade Guides. The way Apple has treated the Mac Pro and its users, such as myself, is truly disappointing and somewhat infuriating. I don't even think my position is that unreasonable. I should be able to purchase a Mac Pro 2019 fan assembly from Apple and install it myself. What if I lived in a very far-flung area and not somewhere with three Apple stores? What if my fan assembly had been mistakenly removed by a coworker and lost? I also think Apple should be on the hook for supporting new GPUs for as long as they continue to support this computer as Apple does not allow for third-party graphics drivers. Thus, there's no opportunity for a third party to come in and save the day, and the entire value proposition of this computer was and is its upgradability. Apple is arbitrarily limiting the shelf life of this computer. This video is an open letter to Apple, and I'm asking on behalf of all Mac Pro 2019 owners to change the parts policy and to please support the Mac Pro 2019 with the latest AMD GPUs. I understand architecturally that some features just may never happen, like the multi-stream encoding as that's optimized for the media engine, but I'd certainly love to see something like AV1 hardware encoding on the 7000 series GPUs. I have a pretty small YouTube audience, so it's not like I have the sort of sway or platform that could put any sort of pressure on Apple. Nor do I have the sort of income where upgrading to an M3 Ultra is a foregone conclusion. If there are any larger YouTubers, or smaller ones for that matter, who want to use clips from this video or publications that want to summarize my experiences, please do. More than chasing views, I want to operate in a world of sanity where I can buy replacement parts for my computer and expect a good solid eight years of support. I think that's a reasonable ask. As much as I like my ending because it's super succinct, I'm realizing now if I don't address it, it'll just be brought up repeatedly in the comments, so let's do this unscripted like. The first thing I know people are going to bring up is, why don't you just pay for the fan? And you know what? I probably will, because I don't have a choice. Apple doesn't give me one. Some people are just not going to be able to wrap their brains around why it bothers me that I just can't just buy the part and stick it in myself and I have to hand over my defective one. And all I can say to that is, it's mine. I paid for it. Who cares what my reasoning is? I think I have a legitimate one. But even if it isn't, I don't know why Apple won't just sell me the damn part. Apple seems to have regrets about designing the most modular computer it could have possibly designed. It is immaculately done. It is absolutely phenomenally beautiful the way you can just take this computer apart and it's easier to take completely apart than the previous Mac Pros. It doesn't require much other than the hex or pentalobe screwdriver sets that Apple uses. Always forget the names of those. Sorry if I said the wrong part, but those screws that you get from iFixit kits, that's about the only specialized tool you need. And you can take apart this entire Mac and reassemble it with not a lot of problems. And I don't understand why Apple seems to be afraid of that. I wish I had some sort of profound statement that I could tie it all together because I'm inside Apple's head on this, but I'm not. 
I'm actually legitimately confused. The other point that I want to address is I know that some of the Apple apologists are going to be upset with me. And all I can say is, remember, you pay Apple, they don't pay you. <laughs>